Hello everyone, we're back once again. Hello. So, uh, this time I'm fighting Meruru, who I've said in the past, Meruru is a guildy of mine. Uh, he's also a very good player, very scary player to run into. On the ladder, uh, I'm still doing the first Van Rosen and Rosen Pick Rosen. <laughs> Van Rosen and Pick Green. I'm still trying that out. Uh, this time I get to have Yusuke, so Lean this time actually has a buff. So, uh... So I actually put, so many of you have, of course have noticed that I put Yusuke back in my box and that of course is because Yusuke not only buffs Rain, but he also buffs Wataru. Uh, and Yusuke is actually pretty strong at fighting Rush teams and quite a few people are playing Rush nowadays. So Yusuke is pretty good at fighting that. Meru is usually someone who plays a pretty safe uh, type of strategy, but this time Meru decides to go full offensive against me. So he just sends Elwyn straight in like this. Uh, he let me have Matthew, so I didn't need to bring a faction buff on anybody except for Matthew, uh, freeing up a lot of attack slots for my units. So, even though I have rain, he also has rain, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to be some RNG shit going on here. So Matthew, of course, buffs everyone. I also get the Team Crown buff on Yusuke while I'm doing this. So I actually just end a turn with Wataru instead of engaging because I realized that like there was no way that Wataru is going to kill Elwin. So I just go in with the Dark Tainter. He's, he's heal blocked. And now he's at like 10% life or whatever. So actually I could just run in with Wataru now and finish him off. So this is a good showcase of like just how far Wataru can run. Like, just look at how far Wataru. He just, he just ran like almost across the entire screen. And because of his revive disable, he's just going to kill Elwin. Dang. That is still a 4-star Wataru, so he's still pretty weak. Um, so Meru comes in with Ares, single target on Yusuke. Uh, unfortunately, Yusuke, <laughs> even with his quick counter, uh, Yusuke could not take a single target attack from Ares. But he sucked my ring forward, so I could just run forward now. <laughs> RIP in peace. Get to engage first. I get a clock. Oh no! Uh, although I don't think I don't think I needed the clock. I mean, I could have just used. Uh, I still had a uh, arcane gale. So termination slash doing those fixed damage takes really screws with his units because, like, you know, you act again and you'll just take a bunch of damage. Yeah. Green doesn't die, so I can just jump juggler four now. Protect him. Do some damage on other people. And uh, I think Meru just made a mistake here because, like, or, or he just wanted to kill Wataru, I guess. Like, because acting twice like that with D lit means she's just gonna die from fixed damage. So <laughs> I still have initiative. I beast shock lean, and he's super tanky. <laughs> Survives with 200 life. There's termination slash. We're in the bullshit go. Yeah. Uh, he does not get. Uh, curse wounding, but I don't think it would have mattered because you know Matthew takes out Ares here, air slash. Yeah. And even if I did, even if I got silenced or something, I could have just do, done a normal attack with Reen. I think that probably would have taken out Meru's Reen. So there's uh there's me like playing. Uh, so again, Reen versus Reen, random bullshit. Did but they, I think they uh, say GG at the end. Yes, GG. 